hello everyone and uh, welcome to this video in this video I'm just going to show you how to send multiple variables or data from one page to another page now it doesn't matter that your data is coming from your variables it's coming from your arrays or it's coming from your MySQL database now this technique will help you to send multiple data or to pass multiple data from one page to another page so to do this the first thing you have to do that is you have to create a folder inside your htdocs folder as i have created by name of values and i have given two file names the first one is one.php and the second one is two.php now inside my one.php i just have created my basic html structure in the same thing i have done it for my two.php file now inside your one.php you have to create your php script or you have to write your php code so now i'm just going to create some variables now i'm just going to create one variable by name of uh, item now that doesn't matter that what are you going to create i'm just going to show you practically that how to do this and how to pass multiple data over link or using one page to another page so the first one is item and uh, the next one i'm going to write is model and the third variable i'm just going to get is about price now the item i'm just going to write computer model i'm going to write latitude 5420 and i'm just going to write its price 900 usd so now i'm just going to create a link just uh, make sure that you are outside your php code now i'm just going to write href and i'm just going to close the tag so it's a basic tag which is basically used to create links between pages or external urls now inside this i'm just going to write 2.php which is my second page name and make sure that you have entered your extension and then i'm just going to write go to next page so now let's run our this page so to run this make sure that you have successfully started your apache and mysql and then go to your browser and then just write localhost slash my folder name which is values and my file name which is one.php as you can see i'm uh, directed or located in my first page which is first page and when I just click on go to next page I will just be redirected to my second page now as you can see in the URL I have nothing just I have my 2.php which is my uh, file name so now let's see how we can just uh, send or pass our data from one page to another page and uh, if you have to pass more than one then what you have to do in this case i'm just going to cut this and i'm just going to paste it inside my php and just to make sure it's working fine you have to add your echo function and then we have started it with the double quotation and then inside double quotation is always a rule that you have to make sure you are using single quotation now let's save this and go back and just refresh your page as you can see now it's working and there is no error or problem now the main thing is that i want to send my data from the first page to the second page or i'm just going to pass my uh, data so in this case you have to write uh, yeah you have to just add a question mark and then you, i'm just going to add a parameter name which is i is equal to dollar sign item now when does it means that please send my item variable and give it a name by name of i and send it to 2.php it means that please send this computer by name of i into the 2.php file now save this and go back to your browser refresh this and when i just click on this now as you can see on the top side that I have 2.php and then I have my 
value which is computer and it's been sent by i name and uh, now let's go and see how to retrieve this from url and use this in our main page now to do this we have to go to the 2.php and inside this you have to write your script as well now to get data from url you have to use a function which is f and then you have to write asset and to get data from url we have a function by name of gate and inside this we are going to add the name now the name which we have used in our url is i so you can use this name and then i'm just going to add another value variable by name of item and i'm just going to get the value from get and i okay so save this and uh, let's create uh, h2 and make sure that you are using it as pair so this is the opening tag and this is the closing tag and this is our value which is going to be item now let's go to the browser and go to your first page and just click on this as you can see now we have successfully passed our data and it's now showing on the second page as well now you can just uh, add a, where a name is uh, like your item and then it's going to show you computer now if you are about to send more than one uh, parameters or more than one values from your link in this case in the end side or the, the last side of your URL you have to add an ampersand and make sure that there is no extra spaces and then let's send it using M so I'm go going to send my model so I will just write model now what does it mean that please send my model using M and send my item value using I now let's go back and just refresh your first page so as you can see now I have sent my computer using I and I have sent my uh, this value using M now to retrieve your data from M you just have to make a copy of this and then I'm just going to add it as model and then I'm just going to retrieve it from M and I'm just going to make a copy of this and I'm just going to write your computer model and uh, this is going to be model now let's save it and just run it as you can see now your item computer your computer model latitude 54 20. now this is how you can send more than one uh, variable or data using links so if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel for more interesting and easy videos thank you so much